<laughs> let me in. You can explain. Let me salivate. Hey guys, welcome back to another little vlog that Hayden and I are going to be doing. Welcome to the backdrop, which is my new apartment, a flat, or whatever you want to call it. We are British, so it's probably called flat. Today we are going to be doing a little thing that we possibly thought up. It's probably it's not an original idea, we don't think, but um, in this lovely little teapot, um, there are 20 questions. I think so, so that basically uh, invite you to tell the truth about yourself. Uh, to which uh, we are calling this game the Game of Truths. <laughs> Hayden and I are going to dabble our hand inside the little kettle. We are going to pull out a question, and that question is going to be for us. We read it out, and then we answer accordingly. Let's shake this bad boy up. By the way, it's in a teapot because I don't drink tea, and. I'm never going to use this, so this will be the only time it's used. <laughs> Alright, let's just hope my hand doesn't get stuck in this thing. Celebrity crush. <laughs> well, I got two. I got one's a man and one's a woman. So, the first one, we'll go, we'll go with a man. The first one is Alex Gaspar. The one love. No, he, no. <laughs> no, no. All time low are like the. Oh, they are the strive of all that is music for me. Um, yeah, the peanut to his jelly. I thought it was peanut to butter to chocolate. That's no. like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and a female who has just uh, rocked up for me due to she has uh, just had a birthday and there's loads of pictures like spread around all over. Margot Robbie. You know, know her much? Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, she's in Suicide Squad as Harley Quinn. Um, but yeah, no, she's hot. She's and she's like 23, 24, 25. Oh. Yeah, you go for it. How do you hint that you like someone? Poke it with a sharp stick. <laughs> <laughs> Love me! <laughs> I go for the classic Instagram likes. The liking the photos on Instagram. <laughs> the classic notice me, I'm gonna like your pictures a lot. Usually, I go for the selfies. The classic teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Oh, right. <laughs> That's a pill. <laughs> that, I don't know if you can see that. That to me looks like pill. I have no idea. I wrote these. <laughs> yeah. What piece of women's clothing would you wear? Uh, the thing is, everyone says that, like, wearing women's underwear is Everyone women's... says I look great in Wearing women's underwear is supposed to be really comfortable. But I have worn a bra before. Was it comfortable? I can't remember. <laughs> was it was comfortable. It was, it was so comfortable, it held my pecs great. <laughs> okay, wait, how about this? Dress, underwear, high okay. heels. Dress. I reckon I could rock a dress. Seeing them legs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, yeah. Go for it. What we got? Most, pain, most painful breakup. You don't need to say names. You don't need to say names. Um, Just replace the name with Brenda. <laughs> Alright. Painful rejection. Ah. Painful rejection. I got one for you. I got one for you. Do I know who it is? No. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I was at a party once and. Brenda. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda was in another room. And I was single at the time, and one of my friends dragged me into this other room and said to Brenda, Here's Hayden. And she went, Is that supposed to impress me? Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, wow. Yeah. Shit. It hurt, it hurt deep. I'm not surprised, yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I would have wept right there and then. <laughs> and be like, Oh, thanks. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. Most painful rejection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what features of yours are you self conscious about? Everything, <laughs> I suppose. I'm um, a mess. Yeah, no, I, I think, I, yeah. Um, I can't pinpoint it to one thing because I don't, I'm self conscious about everything. I, I've only recently just started to like wearing shorts because I work out my legs a lot more. Um, I don't like walking around in public places without a shirt on. Um, I don't even like walking around naked in my own flat. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
The only thing that I do like about myself is my hair. Uh, and if that ever leaves me, it'll be the end of my life. We pull out one, not five. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a female, what would you look like and what would you do? <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't get that one. Have fun. <laughs> well, as a female, what would I look like and what would I do for the day? Uh, I have Mila Kunis' face. Nice, yeah, yeah. Um, with her hair? Yeah, with her hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, alright, I see. Uh, probably what I have. Cara, what's her face? Cara, Delamine, is that what you say? Oh, what, the Victoria's Secret's person? Yeah. Is she Victoria's Secret's? The one with the eyebrows. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she's in the... I know something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would I do? What would I do? <laughs> is it for a day? For a day, for a day. For a day. Yeah. Okay. I'd get up. <laughs> it's gonna be like a minute by minute account. <laughs> I'd go down the streets. Naked? No. I'd go, I'd go down the streets in my day to day clothes and I would take a baseball bat with me and hit every male that walks with me. Or cat called me. And then I'd probably play at my moves. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit weird, that got a bit dark as well, but alright, we'll go with it. <laughs> Longest you've been without washing? Uh... There's a few accounts, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I used to be in army cadets, and there was a thing called battle camp, uh, which is where you have to go an entire four to five days in if effectively a wood. Uh, it's important. Four to oh. five. <laughs> or Forty-five days. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but that is effectively where you pee and poop in the forest, uh, and you have things called a baby white wash, which isn't effectively a real wash because you still smell. Uh, so that, that's that forty-five days. Uh, there was also a time at uni, which would be really awkward if any of my housemates were watching. Uh, I didn't wash for an entire week because. <laughs> I didn't particularly want to use the shower. <laughs> that's so gross. So yeah, but no, now, yeah, that's all good now, it's all kosher, it's all good. I wash a lot, I wash every other day. <laughs> I bathe once a month. <laughs> if you only had 24 hours left of your life, what would you do? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, difficult. Find somewhere to stage dive. I would get in a cage and go see some sharks in the water. I'd eat some serious food. I'd eat oh, some, you can eat whatever you want. I'd eat some serious barbecue. Oh, oh. dude, yeah. I'd I, think, I, think, I, I think, yeah, take it back. I'd spend all day eating. <laughs> <laughs> all those plans I had just gone. <laughs> food. All day eating pulled barbecue pork. Oh, oh my god, dude. Oh, it's speaking to my heart. How do you think you'll die? <laughs> I never really thought about it. In my sleep. No. Uh, actually, to be honest, it probably would be in my sleep. Or I want to have like a really heroic death when I'm like, if I make it to, I'll rest my uh, When I make it to, uh, if I make it to like 85 or something, I want to have a really heroic death. There's like a burning building, <laughs> and I walk in with my crippled legs <laughs> and just be like. Oh, oh okay, come on, get you. And I just die in the flames. But there's no one in the building, and I don't know that because I have Alzheimer's or something. So, and I just sort of like get into the building, and I'm just like, where am I? What? <laughs> what? 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 What's going on? And I think I'm just in a massive like toaster or something. <laughs> so yeah, heroic death to ruin my sleep. That would be quite nice. If you got a hall pass, would you use it? Oh, this is going great. <laughs> <laughs> if, op if the opposite player was just saying for 15 minutes, what would you have him do? Oh god. Oh, what do I have him do? Yeah, <laughs> what do I have him do? Um, I'd like to say, I'd like to add something to this question. I will, I would probably hold it over your head for a little bit. As in, you wouldn't be my slave right now. You'd be my slave when I needed you to be, and in small doses. <laughs> If you know what I mean. So, is, that, uh, is that allowed? I'm making it now. You're, you're my slave. Um, 
And so when it comes to uni work or uh, something I don't want to be a part of <laughs> or anything like that, I'll just like, no matter what you're doing, and I ring you up and I'm going to be like, Hayden, slave protocol. <laughs> and then you just come over, like no matter where you are, if you're in bed, if you're in the bar, if you're with your parents or whatever, you've got to be like, I'm sorry, I've got to go. Sorry, Jack slave. Yeah, it's just Jack, <laughs> Jack slave. And then you can just leave like a little token just saying like, I'm sorry. And then, uh, yeah. And so then I could basically use it to get out of things that I didn't really want to do. But it had to be in small doses, like two minutes of things I don't want to do. So if I don't want to turn up to something, you could be like, I'll be like, Hayden, I need you to go to this place and I need you to tell them that Jack's not coming. <laughs> and, uh, and then you just, you just alright, all right, fine. <laughs> and then you drive over and you just sort of say, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Jack's not here. <laughs> and he died in a flaming burning with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he was in a tester. <laughs> First physical feature you look for in someone? Get eyes. I like the eyes. <laughs> I like big eyes. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> <laughs> if you, yeah. Thank you. If you and somewhere else were the only two people left on the earth, who would it be? See, now I've got two answers in my head, but one of them is just a selfish answer, and the other one's an answer so that we can procreate. Right. It's all the Madagascar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just think about it. Me and him being the only two people left in the world. And we could... I... Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it'd be really awkward if I'm, if I'm here and he's in America. And we didn't, and we didn't know that we, we never were... Yeah. <laughs> but just like, how the hell did... If that actually happened, I'd be like, right, it's got to be him. <laughs> so then I have to go over to America. <laughs> Find some way over to America. Um, yeah, so that would be the selfish answer. The procreation answer would be... Obviously, we're assuming the fact that we'd actually be compatible. <laughs> um, okay. Um, uh, he looks pretty fertile. He's got a lot of Rooster Teeth, there's like a production team, it's like a production company for YouTube and stuff like that, and they do really funny videos. Um, and there's a Canadian on there called Barbara Dunkelman, and she's insanely hot. Like, Beautifully hot, and uh, and she's also really funny as well, which which means like it wouldn't get boring, which is what I think is possibly the best part. Like obviously you're the last two people in the world, in the like, in the world, and you don't really want to be stuck with a boring person. So you know she can cancel that out for the both of us and just be like super funny all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, my most subconscious feature, my big toe. Pretty hairy. Oh right, okay. <laughs> Pretty big. Um, and my hairy butt. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get caught doing something embarrassing? When I was younger, I waited for it to get dark outside, and <laughs> then that meant from my bedroom, my window acted like a mirror, and I could see myself. And. I played music and danced in front of the window <laughs> and pretended to be some kind of famous rock star and for a whole song my sister was still in the doorway watching me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I'd have to tell anyone that. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Guilty pleasure music! <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Uh, it's not really Guilty Pleasure, but Taylor Swift. I'm very open about the fact that I really like Taylor Swift. I'm going to tea swizzle. <laughs> With a tay tay. Um, yeah. She's also really hot as well, but no. Her recorded music is really good. Um, I wouldn't see her live. Um, for obvious reasons, which I'm not going to go into. Uh, but yeah, no, Taylor Swift, but <clears throat> I suppose if a real, really real guilty pleasure, it might be even busted actually. Mm. They've got a few pretty decent songs, which is, um, which I, I, I shout out to. 
I'll 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 can't judge it. I thought you could say you can't tell anyone. You can't, you can't judge you it. You can't tell anyone. You can't judge it until you try it. So I get biscuits. Auto rosket biscuit actually. Sorry. <laughs> I get biscuits from like normal like chocolate biscuits, like McVitie's or whatever. And um, I also do the same with go ahead bars and all that kind of stuff. I'll take them out of the packet and then I'll run them under the tap. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! So they're nice and soggy. And, oh. <laughs> and then I'll eat them. No! <laughs> That's worse than soggy bread. That's awful. You gotta try it. No! It's, it saves. Oh. It saves on chewing time. Oh That's my god! That's awful. <laughs> try it. Don't eat, there's nothing worse than a really dry biscuit. Oh! So who are you? <laughs> don't have to dunk it in teeth. Don't have, if you don't have a cup of tea, oh. don't. Don't worry, just run out. Get milk! Run out under the tap. What the, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you get milk! Jesus. Well. Oh, I don't, oh. Shall we wrap it up? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Jesus. I know you're going to try it, but I'm not here. I'm not going to try it at all, no! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was the Game of Truths with Hayden Dewis and Jack Rook. Um, we had a lot of fun doing this. We are trying to do as many vlogs as we possibly can now, especially that I've now moved out of my parents' house and I am uh, have our we have our own place now, effectively do whatever we want within reason. If my dad watches this, um, <laughs> so yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Yeah, it was a great laugh. Well, I hope it was a great laugh. Uh, we'll leave links in the uh, description box. We'll put stuff. something That's on Hayden's face. Shazam! You know, and, and, and then maybe a video somewhere. Maybe somewhere in the back. Yeah, right back there. You see where the TV screen is? That monitor thing? Yeah, right there. That's where it'll be. And then, as always, there'll be a link to subscribe here. Shazam! And then if you could make that puff and smoke, that'd yeah, be sick. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we hope you have a lovely day. We hope you are very well and very happy where you are. If not, talk to us. We, uh, we are here to listen to your problems. We love you. Bye-bye. See you later.